For more free videos, go to zeroxbilliards.com. All the videos are organized, so learning the game of pool has never been easier. From fundamentals to kicking, banking, breaking, and cue ball control, we have all the videos you need to supercharge your game. In this video, we're going to cover several bridges that every pool player needs to know to reach a high level. We're going to cover standard bridges, tripod bridges, and rail bridges. So if you're ready, let's get started. When players first learn the game of pool, they generally create two types of bridges. The fist bridge, and this version of the open bridge. And this is the type of bridge they use when they're on the rail. But it's important that, if they want to progress in the game of pool, that they learn more advanced bridges. So we'll first start with the closed bridge. When creating this bridge, we're going to first separate these three fingers for stability. Next, we'll place the thumb near the middle joint of the middle finger. This creates a groove for the cue stick to glide on. Now we'll wrap the index finger around the stick like this. The thumb will be pointing in the direction of the shot. So holding the bridge hand like this would be incorrect. This closed bridge is a little more snug than the previous bridge. In this bridge, we'll first place our thumb against the side of the forefinger like this. Now we'll press both fingers against the middle finger. Once again, we're going to separate these three fingers for stability. This type of bridge is very snug, so you may want to use powder or a pull glove to reduce friction. This is an excellent bridge to learn since it does help keep the cue on the shooting line. This type of closed bridge is sometimes used for the draw stroke, since it allows for a more level cue stick. In this bridge, we're going to create a similar to the previous bridge, except this time we won't be pressing these two fingers against the middle finger. Instead, we're going to be resting the thumb against the table bed. Here is the standard open bridge. When players first make the open bridge, they tend to keep these fingers together. The key to this bridge is separating the fingers for stability. Either like this, where all the fingers are separated, or like this, where these two fingers are touching. Another mistake beginners sometimes make is not pressing the thumb against the bridge hand. Make sure when creating this bridge that the thumb is firmly pressed against the bridge hand. This is the raised open bridge. This type of bridge is used when you need to strike the cue ball above center. When creating this bridge, you'll be pulling your fingers toward the base of the hand, which raises the cue stick. This is a bridge that is used quite often. It's quick to make and when properly done, works very well although it's not a bridge that is as stable as a bridge that is planted on the table bed. In this bridge, we're gonna keep two fingers bent backward, which will act like springs to move the bridge up and down. Here is the tripod bridge using a closed bridge. In this version, we'll keep one finger back for support. This tripod bridge can be created using both versions of the closed bridge. Here's a bridge that many players perform incorrectly. In this bridge, we're going to be shooting over the 12 ball. And there are two things that players generally do wrong on this kind of bridge. Number one, they tend to make their bridge too far away from the obstacle ball. And number two, they create an unstable bridge with no back support. This type of bridge may sometimes move during the stroking process. Before getting down on the table, it's important that you make your tripod bridge. Make sure you have one finger back for support. 
Now as you get down on the table, keep your cue as level as possible. Use the space in your bridge hand to move the bridge close to the obstacle ball. Once the bridge hand is in place, you can begin the aiming process. This is the same type of bridge that you're going to be using for mass A and jump shots. As you stand taller, use your fingers to apply pressure on the table bed. The back of the hand will start to angle upwards. This is the bridge to use when the obstacle ball only slightly inhibits our normal bridge. In this case, we would bend our ring finger back and slide the space between the little finger middle finger around the ball. In this bridge, we have to shoot over a ball using the rail bridge. Before getting down on the table, we're gonna bend these two fingers back while making the open bridge. Now as we place the bridge on the rail, we can use these two fingers to raise or lower the bridge, depending on how much height we need. This is the closed bridge version of the elevated rail bridge. In this bridge, the ring finger is bent backward to help stabilize the bridge. It may help to press downward to help secure the bridge. Here is a version of the previous bridge, except in this situation, the bridge hand is near the edge of the rail. So in this case, we'll be placing our ring finger against the back of the table. The pressure areas are the little finger, middle finger, and the front of the ring finger. To watch more free videos like this one, we set up a page that is filled with free videos covering every aspect of pool. All the free videos are organized by topic, so learning this great game of pool has never been easier. I put a link in the description that takes you directly to this webpage.